In our outline of a research report, we talked about, say, six chapters, five main chapters and the conclusion. Introduction, literature review, method, results, discussion and conclusion. Now, there are other uh, additional things that have to come. In the beginning, you will have a table of contents, you will have a cover page, you will have table of contents, you will have an abstract. Uh, abstract writing itself is a technique. Uh, abstract tells the whole story of your research. It is a standby piece of writing. One reading the abstract has more or less a bird's eye view of your research. That's an abstract. Now, at the end of your chapters, we have two things, two sections. You have a references list and appendices. In the appendices, you will include copies of the instruments that you use for data collection. And you might add other information that could be useful for the reader. Now, let us talk about referencing. And that is our final lecture. Referencing is very important. It's not something that comes at the end in terms of the process, even though you are reporting it at the end. But it is something that you need to think about right at the beginning. Now, APA is not simply about referencing styles. By the way, there are different types of referencing styles. There is MLA, there is Turabian, there is Chicago, there is Harvard method. But in most universities nowadays, they are beginning to use APA referencing style. Now, APA is not about only referencing styles. There is what we call the APA Publishing Manual, the sixth edition, that talks about how you are going to actually have the outline for your research report that we talked about. And it talks about typographical norms in terms of where to use numbers, where to use tables, how to use figures, and we need to really get ourselves familiarized with that. And it talks about how to reference the sources that you have used to build up your literature review and your research report. Now, let us talk about two important things. There is what we call in-text referencing and references list. So, when we use an external source, a published source that you have taken quotation from or an idea from, you need to give a reference. If you have taken a quotation verbatim, even one line, two lines, you have copied and pasted, then you put inverted commas, double inverted commas, and you need to give reference immediately to that with a page number possibly. And if you have taken even an idea or you have paraphrased a text, you have just taken uh, you know that this idea is talked about by this particular author. You need to give reference. Otherwise, it would add up to plagiarism. And we need to avoid. And I said in our ethical norms that academic integrity is an important part of carrying out a research and reporting a research. So, uh, we, uh, we can talk about different methods of uh, uh, different types of uh, in-text referencing according to the situation and your notes will provide details on that. Now let us talk about references list. We don't talk about bibliography in APA, we talk about references list. We don't divide them into articles, books or web sources, we line them up one by one. And all these entries are in alphabetical order and they are arranged in what is called hanging indentation. Now, that is something that you need to explore with your word processor. Probably if you're using uh, Microsoft Word, you will want to go to paragraph menu and where there is indentation. And that is uh, found in uh, word processors usually. Uh, in other words, the first line of each entry begins at the margin and the subsequent lines get intended in the opposite of a paragraph where the first line is intended and the other lines would start with uh, the, the margin. Let us talk a few rules about 
using numbers in research reports. As a rule, numbers below 10, single digit numbers should be spelt out. From number 10, you put in figures. A sentence should not begin with a numeral. When you say uh, 12 participants said this, do not use a numeral when you begin a sentence. You might want to restructure your sentence. So there are rules about using numbers and you, you might want to look at them in detail. Now using figures and tables. And with this we will conclude. Figures are different from tables. Tables usually have columns and rows. Figures are illustrations. A lot of students mix up this. Uh, figures, every figure should be numbered sequentially in your research report. And figures have captions at the bottom. And this caption should be attached to your figure so that when you reformat your structure of your text, the, the, the figure does not get separated from your caption. Now, tables, APA rule says, if your table does not have more than one column and one row, there is no need for a table. So you need to make a decision. Are you going to describe in the text, just by text, uh, the data, or you want to have a table? And second rule about table is that if you include some data in the table, don't repeat all that data in your description in the main text. They should supplement each other. You might point out the reader uh, to a basic important data in your table and say, see details for this table. Uh, the third thing about table is that tables have titles. Each table has a number and a title which comes at the top of the table. So it's important to remember figures have captions at the bottom, tables have uh, titles at the top and again the titles should be attached together with the table so that when you format the text they are moving together. And uh, finally there is a way of formatting your table according to APA. We do not draw the column lines in a, a table for APA. We draw minimum number of row lines. Now these are details that you have to look at. In other words, your report should look neat, readable, and the, it fits into your argument. Whenever you are giving a table or a figure or something in appendix, you must refer to it in the main text. Tell the reader when to look at it. It is not that you have just given the table or a figure or an appendix and you expect the reader to look at it. No, you, you need to mention that in the main text. And expressions such as look, uh, table below and table above, figure below, figure above don't hold good anymore because the format of the, the text can change and therefore we refer to the table or a figure by numbers rather than table below or above because when the actual layout is done of the text, the text could appear anywhere and the table could appear anywhere. Because the table is numbered, we can link up the table with the specific position in the text.